Yeah, I, th I think one of the things that you want to do, uh, once you get in a position um, that we're in, you always take time to go back and, and look at the opportunities that were afforded you. The neat thing about the Hollis family gift is it's split between academics and athletics, as many of our major donors do split their gifts, and it shows that sort of connection of values. You know, the gift that Mark and Nancy gave, I think, is so incredibly important uh, from an athletic standpoint even because um, sometimes we're looked at the group that gets and doesn't give. And when your leader gives and your leader sets a precedent, I think that it's going to uh, help a lot of other people uh, to understand uh, the value of taking ownership in the place you work. So we, we felt like Michigan State has been very good to us, our education, our degrees, and we just wanted to give back somehow in some way. And we thought um, by doing this and spreading it with athletics and academics and the arts, um, it could benefit a, a whole range and a large range of people. Uh, and if you think about the position that we're in with receiving a gift from the D'Antonio family, the Izzo family and the Hollis family. I think that says a lot about their commitment to Michigan State University and our values. We hope that this gift might be an inspiration to others that uh, um, there is a great cause here at Michigan State University. Uh, it's the right time for, for Nancy and I to make a gift like this, but it's also the right time for other individuals to, uh, to look and see what they can do to maybe stretch a little bit and uh, provide the opportunities that, that all of us had at Michigan State in the past. For Lupe and I, we maybe needed it, and it made us feel uh, like we have some real ownership. Um, we gave our sweat, and now we've kind of invested in our stock, and I think that's awesome.